So this is the brand new Realme GT8 Pro. Oh wait, this is the Ricoh GR. This is the brand new Realme GT8 Pro. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, Jason Smashpop here. So why did I mention that this is Realme GT8 Pro? That's because Realme has recently collaborated with Ricoh and now the camera system on the Realme GT8 Pro is actually tuned by Ricoh to actually look and also feel like the Ricoh GR series. Now, if you want to know about the specs for the camera on this smartphone, it's here on the screen. You can screenshot and read it later because I don't want to talk about specs, okay? I just want to tell you my experience using this Realme flagship phone to take photos. I recently brought it to Hong Kong to take a lot of photos and also I did comparison with the original Ricoh GR3X that I have been using for about three years now. So after this, I will show you the comparison photos between this and this to see how closely the photos and also the vibe resembles each other, okay? Okay, so let's deep dive into the camera system on the Realme GT8 Pro, okay? Because after using it, I would say that finally, there is a Realme flagship which is on par with all the flagship phones in the market now. Why do I say that? And that's because this thing can actually zoom all the way to very far away, which is 120 times zoom, okay? And even some Android flagship in the market now can only reach 100 times. So the Realme is actually achieving quite an amazing breakthrough with this camera system. Now, other than that, if you tap on the photo, button, you can actually access a few modes which is very important and very useful. For example, stage, silhouette and also fireworks. If you want to shoot concert, you know, if you want to make it easier and for the faces to be sharper, just tap on stage and you'll be able to capture better photos using this phone. Now, other than that, there's also the Ricoh GR mode which I will talk about in a bit. Now, let's talk about other features first. There's one feature that I really like under the GT8 Pro camera, which is the high-res 200 megapixel, okay? And this 200 megapixel also means one thing. You don't get to zoom, okay? You only get one focal length, and when, once you take a picture of that, you can actually use that high-res photo to crop and also to reframe and do whatever you want because basically this one picture is very, very high-res. Like, it's super high-res, okay? Now, other than that, you can also already see some photos that I overlay in this video. I want to share with you something, okay? Taking portrait photos with this phone sometimes doesn't work. Why I say it doesn't work is because the portrait photos will suddenly look very dark. And sometimes it doesn't just happen to portrait photos, but normal photos, which is not using portrait mode, which I don't understand what is the problem um, you just need to get used to it that photos will suddenly become very dark. Uh, you can edit, but I would say that editing doesn't help because originally the photos is already dark. Let me show you an example, okay? I'm sh shooting the castle in Disneyland. And as you can see, the photos are very high contrast and also kind of dark. I don't understand what happened. 
I keep trying a few times but they turn out the same. So you just need to know that as much as they can zoom, as much as they can process with AI whatever, sometimes you will have this problem. Now other than that, the Ricoh GR mode, okay, let's talk about that. I really like how it mimics the two available focal length on the GR series. Like for example, this here is the GR3X, which is default 40mm. And the GR3 or the GR4 is 28mm. You get both the focal length here, 28 and also 48. And that also means you don't get to zoom anymore other than these two focal length, okay? And the button here actually has changed to the same button as the Ricoh GR, which is kind of nice. And uh, they also provided some film looks here, which is also included in the Ricoh GR camera. And uh, I have also used some of them to compare between the camera and also this phone to see how closely both resembles each other. And here you can see, I have used different uh, filters. I use high black and white, normal black and white, positive and also negative. Now, if you ask me, they don't look like each other 100%, but it's very close to what you can get on the Ripple GR, okay? And uh, I also like that you can customize and create your own preset uh, with the button on the left here. So you can change the high, low key, contrast, color, saturation and everything and save it as your own look. So that every time when you use the Ripple GR mode to take street photography, you can use the same preset to you know, capture your own kind of vibe. Now because the GTA Pro is a flagship device, it's also powered by a flagship chip, okay? So this thing is powered by Snapdragon Elite Gen 5 and also has 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. Now let's talk about battery because it's also flagship level. Battery-wise, this is actually better than most flagship out there in the market because it has a gigantic 7,000 mAh battery and also 120 watt wired charging plus 50 watt wireless charging. So in the aspect of battery and also charging, this is better than other flagship in the market. Now coming from an iPhone user, I would say that the new Realme UI 7 has reached a level of maturity because icons, graphics, and also animation, they are all very, very fast. Opening and closing apps, no problem at all. Um, because previously, Android used to have this you know, lagging issues, memory issues. But with this, there's no problem at all. And also, it looks very much like iOS 26 because some parts of it are made of glass, you know, glass kind of UI. And we all know the iOS 26 is powered by liquid glass. So it is very similar. So just in case you are an iPhone user and suddenly someone throws this phone at you, you will feel right at home because it looks very similar. Editing photos also very easy because now it has AI features which I also want to mention a little bit. Now AI editing features on the phone actually has quite a few options that you can try. AI Recompose actually helps you to reframe, recrop your photos to make it even nicer to look at. AI Eraser allows you to remove objects and also remove people. Okay, if you want to remove a lot of people, you just tap remove people and then you will be done. There's also other things like AI Sketch to Image, which you can sketch something on your photo and it will generate something realistic. But based on a few times when I try it, it failed, okay? I draw a sun and then a sun didn't appear. I draw a plane, a plane didn't appear. So, okay. Other features including remove reflection, AI glare remover, AI landscape, which is a feature to remove mist in your photo or fog in your photo to make your photos clearer. They are all here. So just in case you need AI editing help with your photos, this phone can also do it. If you look at the camera panel at the back, it is square, which is different from the images you see online when you search for Realme GT8 Pro. You know why? That's because the camera panel at the back 
can be swappable to other designs. So this is also one of the theme or one of the key selling points for the new GT8 Pro, whereby you can customize the camera panel to change the look to fit your style. So here I have changed from the original circle to the square one and we actually require some tools which is included in the box. So if you're into these kind of things, you can also purchase this separately and customize the look of your camera. So that was my thought and experience using the brand new Realme GT8 Pro in collaboration with Ricoh GR, okay? Let me know in the comments what you think and if you love videos like this, subscribe, share and see you in the next video.